welcome to Virtual CB1A. This is Miss Rena, and for today's video discussion, we are already in the last section of this chapter, 3.7. We have perpendicular lines in the coordinate plane. So we will start with an activity. I've prepared here in our view board. The activity called Investigating Slopes of Perpendicular Lines. Before we start, let's define lattice points muna. So in the activity kasi, you will have to have a graphing paper and a piece of paper, any piece of paper, basta straight yung edge niya, tapos 90 degrees yung corners no edges ng paper. So, for investigating slopes of perpendicular line, you have to put the corner of a piece of paper on a lattice point. Lattice points are the points of intersection of the grid lines. Yan. Ito yung mga lattice points. Yung mga red. So, let's choose one corner. Say, for example, this is the corner that we plotted in one of the lattice points. Now, we have to rotate the paper so the edge will fall on another lattice point. And also, the other edge will be fitted to another lattice point. So, it doesn't matter kung hindi mag eksakto yung mga corners natin to the lattice points. Ang kailangan lang natin na i-plot sa lattice points ay yung mga edges. Now, you have to trace the edges. After that, find the slope of each line. So, hanapin natin yung slope nitong line na to. Tawagin natin tong line N. Tapos ito, tawagin natin siyang line R. Yan. So, line N, ang slope nito is try nga muna natin. Okay. Ang slope nito, line N, is equal to, so, tataas siya ng isa, so, magra-rise siya ng isa, and then, Mag-move siya to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, M is... Kita ba? Yan. May rise tayo na 1. Tapos may run tayo na 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, the slope of line N will be 1 over 5. Now, let's go to line R. This is line R. Let's find its slope. Ah, dito ko na lang pala isasulat yung R para hindi siya. na wawala. Count natin yung pag-fall niya. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ito, lahat-lahat ay 5. Now, how about the run? Papunta siya sa kanan, so we have 1. Ito, since we moved downwards, dapat ang sign niya is negative. Now, let's write this as a slope. So, the slope of R is rise, negative 5 over 1, or simply negative 5. Now, dito tayo sa step 3. Multiply daw natin yung dalawang slopes. We have 1 over 5 times negative 5. You will end up with negative 1. Okay. 
So, kahit na ulit-ulitin mo yan, repeat steps 1 to 3 with the paper at different angle, kahit na i-rotate-rotate mo yan, halimbawa, ni-rotate mo siya na ganito na yung position ng angle, pero mag-fit pa rin siya on lattice points. Yan. Still, you will end up with negative 1. In advance ko na. Laging negative 1 yung magiging sagot mo dyan. So, ano yung importance nung value natin na negative 1? So, in the activity, ang madidiscover nyo eventually is that the slope of perpendicular line when multi perpendicular lines when multiplied will give you negative 1. In a coordinate plane, two non-vertical lines are perpendicular if and only if the product of their slopes is negative 1. Vertical and horizontal lines are always perpendicular. So, halimbawa ito, ang slope ng red line is 2, ang slope ng blue line is negative 1 half. You will end up with negative 1. That will give you an idea about the relationship of the two lines. They are perpendicular. Now, let's perform this activity, deciding whether the lines are perpendicular. So, we have to find the slope of each of the line and then determine which among them are perpendicular. Ang dalawa lang pala to. So, titignan natin kung perpendicular si J sub 1 at si J sub 2. Kunin natin ang slope ni J sub 1. So, J sub 1 has the slope. Ang points niya ay 0, 3 at 3, 1. Ito na lang lagi yung gamitin natin na X sub 2, Y sub 2. Tapos ito si X sub 1, Y sub 1. So, y sub 2 is 3. Again, m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Don't forget this formula, okay? So, y sub 2 is 3. y sub 1 is 1. 3 minus 1. For the denominator, we have x sub 2 is 0. x sub 1 is 3. So, minus 3. You will end up with 3 minus 1 is 2. 0 minus 3 is Negative 2, you will end up with negative 1. So, the slope of J sub 1 is negative 1. Let's check J sub 2. So, J sub 2 has the slope. Again, this is X sub 1, Y sub 1. X sub 2 is still 3. Uh, y sub 2 pala. Y sub 2 is still 3. Y sub 1 is negative 3. So, minus negative 3. And for the denominator, we have x sub 2, 0 minus negative 4. 3 minus negative 3, you will end up with 3 plus 3. And then for the denominator, we have 0 minus negative 4, we have 0 plus 4. 3 minus negative 3 is, 3 plus 3 is 6, and the denominator is 0 plus 4, 4, 4, 3 over 2. Okay, now let's check the product. So, me, uh, slope ng J sub 1 times the slope of J sub 2 must be equal to negative 1 for them to be perpendicular. So, the slope of J sub 1 is negative 1. The slope of J sub 2 is 3 over 2. When you multiply them, you will end up with negative 3 over 2, which is not equal to 1. So, J sub 1 and J sub 2 are not perpendicular. Since magkaiba sila na slope. Another thing, uh, aside from having the product equal to negative 1, pwede rin na hindi na kayo mag-multiply. Just examine the numerator and denominator of the two slopes. So, 2 
lines or perpendicular if the slopes are negative reciprocals. Okay? Lagi tayo na example nitong sinasabi ko dito na negative reciprocals. Halimbawa, um, meron tayong line 1 and line 2 with slopes. Halimbawa, M of line 1 is equal to 2 over 3 and the slope of line 2 is equal to negative 3 over 2. Reciprocal sila, di ba? The reciprocal of 2 over 3 is 3 over 2. And 1 is negative. So, these are perpendicular. Another example, um, pag negative 2 over 3 to, tapos tong isa naman ay 3 over 2. Again, perpendicular din tong dalawang lines na to, line 1 and line 2, because their slopes are again negative reciprocals. Another one, measure uh, slope ng line 1 at slope ng line 2 ay 10. At saka negative 1 over 10. So perpendicular din ulit yan because they are negative reciprocals. The reciprocal of 10 is 1 over 10 and 1 is negative. So they are negative reciprocals. Okay, now we are going to check the slope. Hindi ko na siya i-complete, hindi ko na siya i-demo. So, marunong na naman kayo kumuha ng slope eh. Dito, ay teka, parang mali pala yung ano. Mali ako kanina. 